Yeah, I... Ron is a little bit lonely, but he'll manage. He always does. Typically, Joe Dariel is um, always among the first to start making preparations for the rites. Just as soon as you arrive amid such uh, such places as the tumultuous waters of the Isle of Kelman. This time, however, she does not assist the others. She has not even done the raiments. Your concern is noted, Rita, but it is misplaced. It is only that the one we are to face th uh, this time, Ignarius, who denied his liberty before, it seems almost cruel to set him further back. How absurd that I should even care. It's simply because uh, simply that I seldom see those with features similar to mine. Those who have survived here so long enough to earn their horns. I shall go now to prepare. I, I really have forgotten how to do Jody. Jody's voice is has just escaped, escaped me. Escaped. Yeah. Okay. Ignorious. Slow. So no, uh, we can grant quickness, but that is that comes at our peril at this point. We could. We could disable shacks and get the arch. No, probably not the arch beast, but the we can we can work around Enriga. Increase their presence is not a good idea, and cunning and quicker to react not necessarily a good idea either. I do want to get rid of Shax. Shax was a little bit difficult last time. I mean, I could give them the dull, uh, dullness the locket. dullness the locket. Because we can have our own little... Uh, leeching ability, so it's fine. Eve to you as ever, O oh, you exiles of the Nightwing. What's wrong with you? The eight scribes dragged you all the way into the blasphemous Isle of Kaila. Here you are to be surrounded by even more gibbering nitwits than usual. Oh. Your adversaries in the rites this eve shall be the Tempers. Extinguish now their pyre, and glory shall be yours. Now prepare yourselves. Hey, hey, well, if it isn't the curly horns, surprise they didn't let you out already. Not that I'm complaining. I was hoping I'd run into you again. See, when you've been stuck here in here for oh about 14 years, not that I'm counting or anything. Again, some appreciation for the simple stuff, you know. A bit of cool breeze, a solid meal. Anyway, it's good to see you in one piece, is all. Judariel removes her mask and stares at him. Why are you doing this? You have a right to conduct. Yeah, well, I've conducted a lot of rights, you know. I've had a lot of good, it's done for me. Yet here you are again. Yeah, anyway. He throws on his mask. Guess we'd better get things started. Our kind we've got a reputation to uphold. Judaria watches him for several moments, then rejoins her group. Yeah, welcome to the home field of the of the um, the imps, the drive imps. We could send in Jody. We kind of haven't been playing Jody a lot, but then again, Jody is also very high level at this point. We might be able to make use of Pamita here, but not as a main defense. Um, Bertrude still has some catching up to do. Let's send her in. Bertrude. 
Pameta has an offensive. Offensive to mid. And then Gilman as a finisher or alternatively Xay as a finisher. That's what I'm thinking right now. Alternatively Sir Gilman for a very quick boost into the attack. Xay's jump is kind of OP at this point. Also, Xay does more... Uh, Xay's glory is higher, so Xay does more damage than Gilman. They're almost the same level too, so it doesn't really matter at this point. I'm gonna bring Xay. Because I, I keep playing Gilman so much. So Daryl and Ignarius, do they know each other? Because they seem familiar with each other in a way. Bring it on then, Nightwings. Let's see you beat me again. Ignarius sure seems a little bit uh, depressed even. Oh. Oh no. Let's just try to be a little bit more on the offensive side. Glorious. Because now. Oh, damn it. Oh, that leaves the field right open. Ooh! Oh, almost made that jump too. Oh no 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 no! Do try. Glory to the scribes. Oh, that, that jump! That jump was a little bit unfortunate. Oh no. Oh that jump. Now it doesn't matter. They simply threw it in. We still have a healthy margin here. Oh that the jumps. Oh no 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 no. Okay, they have such control over the field right now. I'm getting a little bit annoyed. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting that. Okay, that... Oh, that was a little bit too... a little bit too offensive. Ooh! Okay, that might have been actually a bad move in the long run. Unless... oh, kind of make plays. Oh, please! Exactly by the book. Imps grow more and more agitated with each passing moment. Some start spilling onto the sacred crowns. Oh, I hate these things. Go on, out of here. We're in the middle of something here. What are those blasted creatures doing? Well, they are enjoying the good match. Not some boorish spectacle. Oh no. 
Oh no. Why did you? Well, doesn't matter. We're still we're still handling this. You night wings been practicing, Aja. What about you, Iggy? You just what? You're just washed up old gold. You're through. How long? Uh, uh, how long you gonna keep this at this? At this? Weaker and weaker, worse and worse, huh? Come on then, Nightwings, finish it already, will ya? Soon, sooner we wrap this up, the sooner we can catch the Shut Eye and put an end to this damn day. <laughs> oh no! Struggle all you like, Frida. Oh, that I should have, I should have not been so indecisive. Okay, we need to, we need to end this. This is becoming too damn. Ah, oh, freak! Oh no, 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 no! Oh no! Oh, so close. Yeah, I would definitely care less. I'll take it. Ah, frick, wasted all that exp that stamina. I should have flown. Stamina, stamina, stamina. <sighs> no, no, no. Oh, frick. I, that bounce was so stupid of me. This isn't even the liberation right, and I'm already exhausted. The orb is up. And it is dark. The night wings prevail. They somehow managed to scrape by despite their adversary's efforts. 
The ceremony is complete. Well, curly horns, what can I tell you? Guess Nightwing's still got the spring in your step. Hmm. You could have prevailed. Why did you hold back? <laughs> you really want to know there, huh? Indulge me. <laughs> sure. You free tomorrow night? Jadaria scoffs at this. She dons her mask. And she returns and walks away from him without another word. Narya simply stands and stares. Damn! What stirs now in the hearts of all these exiles? Yeah, that was a real fight. Until the stars align. I made a lot of mistakes in there. After you and your fellow exiles defeated the Tempers, you find the Lone Minstrel tending to one of your own. Hamita seems to be unwell, although you cannot sense uh, you cannot yet sense why. How are you feeling, madame? I can't hardly move my wings at all right now. It's like I'm terribly exhausted all of a sudden. I see. Then perhaps then please do not exert yourself or try. The low minstrel motions for you to come closer. Rita, Pamita appear, appeared rather disoriented and more fatigued than usual, reported feeling not entirely present. Symptoms of banishment sickness. She should soon be able to take part in light activities, I think, but under no circumstance shall she be able to conduct the coming rite. Now then, I ought not to keep you from the stars above. Please, go and have a look at them. For all of us, I think, are anxious to depart this place. So yeah, now banishment sickness is a thing from now on. So people will get sick and they will be unable to conduct rites. So playing Pamita there was probably a good idea because we don't really necessarily need Pamita in the upcoming one. It's just a new way for the game to tell you, please vary your team a little bit. Gaze into the darkness of the night and seek our destination. So it's at least one more round of regular rites. Okay, so um, the fate still holding on and I don't necessarily want to change that. So yeah, fate... Withdrawn definitely don't want this because we don't want the chance to lose and Then we have the accusers the accusers are the safe choice. I don't think they will get enough like they might get Quite a bit of favor if they lose so that they might start to rival the fate But I don't want to meet the withdrawn. I, I f I'm frankly scared of the withdrawn uh, So we'll we'll just stay the hell away from them and if the accusers win, well, I, I don't think they're going to make up for their like their loss in favor. If we lose the fates, that doesn't really do anything. If we win the fate, the withdrawn are going to rise up. So basically going against the fates or, or the withdrawn is not really an option here. So accusers it is. I think I'm going to make this the last right of today because I don't f like I've already done a tough fight. The accusers might also be a tough fight, so I don't want to go in and have to do like two tough battles in a row or three if the accusers are particularly moody today. Oh, did we actually gain more percentage on the plan that's that's really neat your next adversaries are to be the accusers led by one called lendo whom i believe you first met many moons ago he's is a tale of uh he's is a tale i hope shall be forgotten 
then tells you what he knows of your next adversary. Lendl the Liar, the first adversary you confronted in the rites, not long after you took many uh, took your first step on the path to freedom. A former constable of the Commonwealth, he gained a reputation for his strict and brutal manner. By any means, he always caught the crook. Once, he arrested a civilian who hated him on suspicion of theft for, of Commonwealth artifacts. Um, on suspicion of theft of Commonwealth artifacts that had gone missing. Yeah, that makes sense. Lennel discovered the artifacts himself in the civilian's home. The suspect soon was exiled. Still, he denied the charges, even as they cast him down river. The case was investigated further, though, uh, though too late. Suspicions turned to Lendl. It turned out he planted the damning evidence himself, so he was exiled in turn. And this goes to show how fair the justice system of the Commonwealth is. <laughs> because that one guy that got sent down, he didn't make it back up. Because the exile is rather final unless you make it back out on your own. The downside, he soon became acquainted with the rights, having heard of all this from several people in high places. He asserted himself as the de facto leader of the accusers. They bent to his aggressive nature and prevailed many times under his watch. Yet, each time his chance at liberty arose, the Nightwings either defeated him or simply did not show. At any rate, Lendl shall be looking forward to our arrival, I expect. We may resume our journey come daybreak, but in the meantime, I would advise taking what rest you can. You bid the lone minstrel a good evening. At dawn, you shall take flight again. Huh? Oh, say hello. Say seems to be in a happy mood, though she always seems to be around Joe Daryl, who is listening to her with patience. So I, I just. I just look within the sh sallow caps each, uh, each daybreak for the morning dew to drink it, uh, drink, and once in a while I would find maybe a stream to drink from too. Though I get very thirsty sometimes too. I tried drinking tree sap once, it wasn't very good. Um, really, it was very bad, I guess. She seems to be discussing how exactly she managed to survive in the downside all alone for so long. Jodaria watches her intently all the while. Food, well, food was harder to find usually because um, this is a bit embarrassing. But I'd never try. I tried never to harm a living thing, you know, because it makes me very sad. But sometimes it is the way of things. I understand. I do, and so I would eat as often as I needed to and tried a lot of th different things to see if they they were good. Most of them weren't though. But I got by. I learned to get by. I already knew how a little bit because back home where I came from. There, I had to get by there too. Here, well, it was harder, but it wasn't that much harder, really, in a way. So Daryl remains silent for a time as Xay trails off then. She embraces Xay and holds her gently. Xay lets out breath, but says nothing uh, nothing either for a while. Xay, may I ask a question of you? Me? Um, of course! What question is it? How old are you? Do you even know? Oh, I'm, I'm 19 years old. That is how old I am, I think. Truly. Then you must have seen a lot. In not a lot of time. Know that what you have achieved is a feat. I have known seasoned soldiers who could not have lived through the experiences you have described. Oh, really? Um, wow, um, thank you. Thank you so much. I seldom seen Xe so joyful as this moment. As for Jodariel, you could count on one hand the number of times you have seen a smile pl uh, play across her lips. You leave them to their conversation. I think Jody. Well, well, we'll learn eventually, but I think in Jody's background there is a thing about Jody and kids, like. She is a protector of the young. And off we go. 
Let's meet the accusers in the rights, and after that, I am going to call it an evening. Also, are we just by chance meeting the accusers in the very beginning of the game? Spring of Tomer has always flown forth from the crushed carapace of Biolanthius, the legend of whose demise is uh, rather sordid, a sordid tale. Perhaps you have already read it in the book. Not all believe the book exists, of course, nor the greater titans, nor the rites. I have encountered exiles believing that this titan perished quite by accident rather than by cunning trap played for it by Jomor Minimane. They took the titan for a common beast. Perhaps the stars shine down upon out-of-the-way locales such as this one to ensure that they alone shall witness the proceedings. Uh, fall flat or glue hive? Oh hey, rookie. Yes, I will. I will see what rookie has to say. Jomer Valley. Oh, Jody. Hello. Rodariel has, seen, uh, has seemed more reserved than, uh, even than usual since her confrontation with Ignarius and the Tempers. Nonetheless, she addresses you. Tell me something, Rita. Back where you came from, did you have someone whom you considered close? Solitary or no, uh, someone? I guess, I guess someone. You mentioned briefly to Jodariel about a past relationship that meant something to you. She shows no reaction to the details, but you can tell she is listening. I see. I have someone as well. It is something which did not end well, but there were times. She trails off. We had our times. She looks up at you then. But Ignarius, he's a base fool. We have not a thing in common save for a set of th a set of horns, not thorns. Yet here I am, drawing comparisons with how I felt at times back in the Commonwealth while speaking to you of him. I'm a little old to be having such thoughts, Rita, especially in a place such as this. Thank you for your time. Don't reveal this to, uh, to the others. It is a trifling matter and not to be of anyone's concern, especially not mine. I mean... Mm. I mean, the Ignorius isn't a bad guy. Ignorius would be a baseful indeed to not see what he sees in her. So do we do we say that Jody is a do do we say that Ignorius seems all right? Do we say that Jody is a a fantastic person? Or do we I, I don't think we should discourage this. Like this would make her feel bad. Because obviously Jody cares about Ignorius. The only problem is that Ignorius is a is an adversary. Or do we just say that do we remain neutral on this and just say that Jody is a great person and not really say anything about Ignorius? I mean this seems like maybe a little bit intrusive, like we are intruding upon territory that does not belong to us. I mean, this, this, to me, this would seem like us hitting on Jody, and I'm not sure if Jody would appreciate that. It's, it's a neutral way to address the issue, though. The issue is that she cares about Ignorius. Like, I, from what I've gathered, Ignorius is not a bad person at all. Ignorius is a, a victim of, victim of the sort of, situation here.
I mean, I'm just going to go and say that if, if she wants to, you know, be friends with Ignorius, it's fine. Just, I don't want to, like, I don't want to get too close where she might just push me away. It suggests to her that Ignorius may not be as bad as he seems. You sense his feelings are sincere. Dariel says nothing at first, but then she simply says... I appreciate that. She departs with a nod. I mean, it says that Ignorius would be blind not to care about Jody. It puts more emphasis on Jody, but it doesn't necessarily imply that Ignorius is a bad person or blind. It just is very neutral about the whole Ignorius issue, and it emphasizes Jody. Whereas our current option says that if it's it's comforting for us to hear that Jody cares about someone and that we do not really feel anything bad is going to happen because of that. So we're sort of encouraging their relationship in a way. We end up spending part of the day with Ruki exploring the area surrounding your wagon. We learn this area used to be a swimming hole many years ago. I knew some curse used to go swimming around here. Did some horrible things to their cults. Our lasting memory of this place is standing by the shore, imagining the feel of the water. As you head back in silence, you consider which uh, which of your vocations to pursue. The whole lot of stuff about Rookie. Okay, we could mentor. Uh, I think we could make some moves here. Or we could just study in private. I don't think at this point foraging is going to be that efficient. Do we get a small bonus for everyone, or do we get a potential bigger bonus for someone? Plus increase the amount of people we have available for the... Or eligible for... Well, we don't really... We cannot really make more people eligible for the liberation, but we can make sure that they might be eligible. I think it's always like the top three or something. Let's just... Study in private, let's see if we can get some passive stuff done. Despite your growing good knowledge of the Book of Rights, you yet struggle to grasp certain aspects of, it te of its teachings. Through greater understanding comes the reader's influence. Mm, more presence is good. You attune yourself to the strange and mystic properties of the Book of Rights, embracing such a possible... Uh, such as possible that which cannot be explained or truly known. I have faith in Jody not, you know, falling victim to nasty, nasty corruption. So, encouraging Jody to have personal relationships, or at least allowing it, is not a bad idea in my opinion, because I don't think Jody is going to cross us, even if Ignor if it was about Ignorius's uh, liberation. I don't think I don't think Jody would go to the length of compromising us over that. Oh, hey, Rookie! Find Rookie having just a. Having just put back his Greensail family portrait, there is something of a wistful look in his eyes. And something comes over him and he moves in close, lowering his voice. Look chum, I gotta level, uh, I gotta level with you about something here, real quick. Truth is that I haven't been entirely upfront with you about my family situation. Yesterday's for a while then. We ain't exactly quite as rich as we've been letting on. I mean, we do just fine, and we got lots of money stored away. It's just mostly locked up in savings bonds, and he seems to catch himself in the middle of another tall tale and relents before you can respond one way or another. The situation is my mom back on the other side. She needs a little bit of help, financially and otherwise. All she's got now are my knuckleheaded uncles to keep her steady. 
always told her I'd make something of myself, you know? I was, I was just a cleric in her shop. Things started getting tough for us, so I started looking for all kinds of different work. Got in with some unseemly sorts, I guess, but the pay was real good. We got to shipping certain types of stuff down here of all places. Flushing it straight down the river, watertight. Pay was right. Mom was so proud of me, we were eating real good all the time. But you can probably guess what happened. I barely scraped by after that they flushed me down here. It would have, would have been food for a bunch of howlers had Jody not bailed me out of a tough spot one night. Uh, fun, what? One fine evening. So my mom, she doesn't know the half of it. My uncles told her I'm away on business. Not entirely untrue, I guess, but if she knew, I'd break, it would break her poor heart. So, don't know how else to put this jump, but I want to get out of here. Get back to what I was doing back home. On the straight and narrow, though, I'd go straight f uh, this time for sure. Just don't go telling everybody that all rook uh, rookie green tails are mommy's boy, okay? I got a certain reputation to uphold. He quickly scampers, scampers out the door. His, uh, his past has been weighing heavily on him, but you sense he was sincere about wishing to lead an honest life. So now we have learned about Rookie. So Rookie's crime was indeed smuggling. And that's why Rookie ended up down here. Also, that Rookie has now openly wished to be let out. It's a tough thing, but I guess we can if, if at all possible, that's what we're going to do. I can't say no to a rookie. Oh hey you guys, you know, dad here, he don't like talking much, but don't get weirded out by that or anything, because I think he likes you. Especially if you keep buying, uh, buying stuff, uh huh? Hello, <laughs> Hello good old Ron. Have some, have some berries. Is there anything here that I want? Uh, to sell, that is. I could get serums. Temporary bonuses. I'm not sure about that. Uh, I want to save the money for a proper... Right. Thanks, guys. Good luck in that thing you've got going to uh, going there. Uh, you're going to tonight. Yep, uh, yep, 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 yep. Yep. Yeah. It was pretty much obvious that Rookie was a smuggler. I think they hinted at that earlier. But Rookie has officially wished for their liberation. So I think it's that makes it easy for us to pick the next candidate for liberation. Although I don't necessarily want to see Rookie go, Gilman can fill in for Rookie. So it's not like the worst thing. As you await the stars, a form dressed in the raiments of the rites approaches you and Wolfred. At first, presume it is uh, it for one of your next adversaries, the accusers. But he cannot be one of them. Beside you, Wolfred starts. Beside you, Wolfred starts something you have never seen him do. You observe the colors he uh, that he wears, an inverse of the Nightwings. Wolfred Sandalwood has been a while. No, this cannot be. Neiman unfastens his mask. It can. You perished. I watched you fall. You did. I grieved for years. Yet now you live. I do. Although these horns, they grew along ere I could walk again. Unbelievable. Then, why are you here now, Oralek? You know full well, Wolfred, to reclaim what is mine by right. 
The demon Orlech leaves without another word, just as the stars above burst to life, and it seems to set the sky aflame. For those that might not remember, Orlech was one of the original Nightwings, when Wilfred was also part of the Nightwings. And Orlech was the one pushed off when it was his time to leave. So Orlech was denied his freedom. And instead of the accusers, that means we're meeting Orlech. So, how do we want to play this? Dullness... Stamina... Extra stamina for them is a little bit of a... It's an annoying thing. Quickness, not necessarily. And it... It's like, no. I think I might just... Might go with Endriga to make sure that they don't get the stamina bonus. Although, it, I like Orlech is a demon, just as Ignorius, so Orlech cannot really go far. But still. Yeah, I imagine they will have a fairly similar setup. Lunacy is this? I'm not my problem. Appear the night wings are to stand against themselves this time around. Yeah, sort it out, please. This is a mutiny in violation of the sacred law. Orlek started it. The exile whom you face, Orlek. Long ago he had his chance, and he relinquished it. Not exactly. He cannot simply claim it now. Tell him. I cannot preside over this nonsense. Good night. <laughs> yeah, the announcer sure does not want to participate in this. What happened to the accusers? The stars showed they were to we were ah, showed we were to face them. They must have suffered a misfortune of some sort. Tampering with the star's designs is not permitted, Orlek. Cheating the worthy of the rightful liberty is not permitted either, Wolfred. You must know I took no part in that betrayal. Search your heart. <laughs> Orlek says nothing for a time, then... Where are your ailments, Wolfred? I have refused to wear them since. In show of solidarity to you. And to elude the voice, I would suppose. Yes, that too. I see. You were never very good at this anyway. We shall see if that new lot of yours is any better. You cannot be serious. What sense is there in us standing against each other? Or Orelech puts his mask uh, on and stands ready. I shall cross this lot of yours, Wolfred. I shall see that I'm not so easily discarded and you shall not deny my liberty again. It's a balanced set. The reader, the adversary whom we, uh, whom we face, Orelech. He is not one to back down. He was very ex experienced in the rights even at the time, and so aware. There was no one in his, in his day who could prevail against him, and he appears even stronger now. I wish I had more valuable advice to give in this. I wish I had foreseen this. Okay. We're going to need fast movers. Very, very fast movers. Gilman is definitely going to be a pick here. Uh, Pamitha, of course, is out of the game for now. Uh, we could bring in Bertrude as a defensive. That seemed to work-ish. But I feel more safe about Jody doing that.
Also, we should check them. So note that their 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 team name is the True Nightwings. Okay, they they have leveled up. They are fairly high level, but they do not wield any uh, any talismans. So that is our our benefit. Okay, we're going to need Sir Gilman here. No no questions about it. And then the question is, how do we fill out the rest? Do we bring in Rookie as a second fast character? Or... Or do we... I think we may need to bring in Rookie's... Fang. As a defensive option. This might leave us a little bit open. I'm a little bit worried about that, but if we can use the casting as a defensive, then we might be able to face off against them. Plus they have two slow characters compared to us having two fast characters. And they have one that is medium, because the imp, the imp is slow. Um, so this one is a savage, which means that they are fairly fast and they jump far. And, of course, Orelec is going to be slow. Well, actually, Quickness 20, compare that to our set. I mean... Oh my god, he's as fast as Rookie! Okay, we're definitely going to have to go with fast characters then. Don't know about... Don't know who this Oralek bozo thinks he is, and come to think of it, I don't care either. Such a triumvirate you have assembled, Wolfred. Then let us see what they can do. Come and face me, false Nightwings. Oh no! Oh, what a what a strat! Oh no 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 no! Ha! doing oh thank you oh freak it was part of their strat oh freak oh, I forgot about that Oh, what? What am I trying? That's not... That's not... That's not Gilman. This is Gilman. No, this is Rookie. Fuck. Okay, they are really not adjusted well to... Rookie. So long as our pyre yet burns, this is not over. Come, come now, let us pay, put an end to it. Okay. Gilman, show your courage. Whew. Okay, this is working out, this is working out. Be offensive and it'll go just fine. Oh no. That jump. That jump was brutal. Oh no no no. Oh frick. I, I should react much faster than that. Ah, frick. Those... 
They dash way too fast. No! Well, we still have a lead and they don't have talismans. As long as we keep that in mind... They got him just in time. Oh frick, I should have jumped. What a mistake I made! <sighs> okay, keep up, keep up, keep up. Offensive! Oh no, that, that's way too offensive. Oh, frick. Got a little bit too cocky. Ah, oh, they got two on one. Take that. Oh, never mind. This is bad move. This is a bad move. This is a bad move. This is so freaking tight. Okay, we need to play our cards really well now. Oh, sneak in! Oh no. Should have read the timers. They might be out of position now. Yes. <sighs> Couldn't cast fast enough. Oh, they went for the attack instead of defense. I was counting on that defense to happen. Oh, I should have double jumped because Fruki has that ability. Oh, what a what a bad move. Ah, why did I do that? I should have stayed. Luckily that doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but if... Now, this is... This is... Where we cannot anymore... Oh, no, 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 no. This is... Okay, now...
this is where we cannot let them strike anymore. Oh no. Damn it, Oralek. I expect that you call yourself the Nightwings, but you are there, but the, you are they only in making. As for the rights, it is a mockery of what, what, what it once stood for. All this stain upon the legacy of the scribes. I should have equipped the uh, I should have equipped the element that the talisman that allows me to get one last go. Wolfrey looks on as Oralek departs without another word. Oralek, forgive me. Utter nonsense, all of this. That we have come this far, fortune alone cannot be the cause. Mm, saluting doesn't... Relentless vigor, that's what we need. I don't think it I don't think it changes the the standings. We do need to check what what the planner says about the true night wings though. Relic, he has changed. Scars resembles now the one with whom we traveled then. I'm afraid so. I can only begin to imagine what he has been going through all these years. Rita, as you can see, Orlek and I, we have some years in common. A story for another day. I need, to, I need some time to look at how this affects our plan. Rita, sir. Orlek is a principal person. His freedom was denied him just when it was in his grasp. A doleful tale. Wilfred said, uh, shall tell you more of him in due time. Of that I have no doubt. For now, it seems the stars beseech you once again outside. There, deep in the in infinite dark, once more you see a single star shining brighter than the rest. Path to freedom beckons you again. Follow it. Solium the Golden Star once again requires our presence. So we need to check this now. So yeah, it did not change the standings. So that was, in essence, it was a victory for them. That does not matter because the... The... Um, the true Nightwings haven't been accepted as a valid triumvirate. So we are still going to meet up with the Fates and we're going to go against them in the Liberation Rite. So this has still gone the way we wanted it to. But I would have liked to um, actually win. Once more, then, unto the fall of Solium. Excellent. Our plan proceeds at pace. We need but continue to make good on all such opportunities the stars present, so much as possible. Then, our ranks within the Commonwealth may yet grow, grow strong enough that we shall sway the people toward our cause. It shall be difficult, but the people have their hearts and consciences, and the Commonwealth has long since lost its way. The never-ending wars with the highwing remnants, the passing of more sentences of exile than ever before, for increasingly more dubious causes. The burning of books, the outlawing of literacy, these are corruptions of the teachings of the scribes. Together we shall prove it soon enough. Wilfred, sir, what of Orlek? Wilfred says nothing in response at first, but then... Erlek appears to have his own agenda now. We shall have to try and keep an eye on him, although our plans remain the same. 
Anyway, we have a mountain which we need to climb. Let's all rest up a bit, if possible, this night. We fly at break of dawn. So, next time, next Friday, we shall climb up the stairs, or rather the mountain, and uh, we shall attempt yet another liberation rite, this time against the Fate. Unless Orlek decides to show up, but I don't think he's going to do that. And we're hopefully going to prevail against the Fate. The Fate were not really that strong. So we might yet be able to liberate at least one more. But after that it's going to get tricky. Very, very tricky. It's very unlikely that the Withdrawn are going to be withdrawn from the uh, race to race for liberation so we may have to actually face off against them and kick them down a notch because I don't want to meet them in the liberation rights whatsoever if there is a chance to avoid it but we will figure out what happens next time